If 30% of 2x is 60, what is 60% of 4x? Students sometimes think that this kind of question is a little complicated because they need to find x and they need to find finally 60% of 4x. So let me show you if we solve it in this way, how does it go? And if we solve it in another way, how does it go? If 30% of 2x, 30% which means that is 0.3 of 2x is equal to 60. So 0.3 times 2x, which is 0.6x equals to 60. Then x is equal 60 divided by 0.6. 60 divided by 0.6 is equal to 100. But did we finish? Sometimes they give you the answer as 100 to trick you. But you have to read the question carefully and look what the question asks. They are asking what is 60% of 4x. Now x is equal to 100. So 4x is equal to 400. Then we need to find 60% of 4x. So 60% of 4x, 60% which is 0.6 times 4x which is 400, which is equal to, by calculator you can get it, 240. Now, look how much steps does it take you and how much time does it take you to find the answer. Let's put this beside and show you how do you solve it in another way. Let's translate this to an equation. As we said that 30% which is 0.3 of 2x is equal to 60. Now they want you to find 60% of 4x is equal to how much? 60% which is 0.6 of 4x is equal to what? Now you know that this is an equation and this is also an equation. So we can multiply anything by the left side but we should multiply the same thing by the right side. Now to move from the first equation to the second equation, if you look at here, 0 0.3, to move to 0 0.6, we multiplied by 2. 0 0.3 times 2 is equal to 0 0.6. And look at 2x and look at 4x. Also, from 2x to 4x, we multiplied by 2, which means that we multiplied the left side of the equation by 4. So if we multiply the right side of the equation by 4, we get the answer, which is 60 times 4, which is 200. 40. So which is easier and faster so that you can save your time for another questions because you don't have luxury of time in the SAT exam. Thank you.